Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Havakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, whose names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Havakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere Shalom, Wabarakatham to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the world, the men, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. To you, I say shalom, okay? This is a sign of things to come here in America, all right, in other parts of the world, all right? And these mass protests or an uprising of the people are taking place, which is a sign, uh, a prophecy that is um, that, that was prophesied of, okay, by, by, by many prophets, Okay, and, and we're living in those times, and, and this is just what's going over here, going on over here in this country, uh, Myanmar, or um, currently known as um, Burmese, Burmese, I, I believe, Burma, excuse me. All right, they they're protesting. They 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 just had a um a, a coup where the military uh, took seeds of the country, and the people are are, are coming are coming against it. All right, it was once demo it was once it was well. I would say it, it was became a de democrat democratic um, uh, democracy back in uh, 2011, but that has been overthrown. Okay, and the the title of this article is uh, Myanmar uh, is like a battlefield. UN says at least 18 dead as security force forces fire on protesters. All right, so the troops are are, are you know just letting protesters have it. All right, they they're not they're they're not a hey, and eventually. You know, they're going to um, really open fire on these protesters, all right? And this is, like I said, this is a sign of things that come here in America, okay? Because, you know, these citizens, with the difference between a lot of these, the majority of these countries where they have these uprisings, their citizens don't have guns like they have here in America. There's more, in America, there's more guns than there are people, all right? So there's 330, 300 million people, 330 million people. So there's more than 330 million guns in um in this country, all right. So when these protests happen, people are it's going to be people armed on both sides, which is going to lead to a lot of bloodshed, okay. And if you don't have that covering of your halabash and your shy in that day, you're going to be out there, and, and, and you're going to be par uh, probably partaking in that. You may be a bystander, who knows, okay. That's why you have to get. That's why you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, got to get right with the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay, and, and, and call them those names and repent because hey, it's it's. Hey, when when the prophets say these things are coming, all right, these things are coming, and it's going to come in like a flood, and, and you're not going to be know what to do. Just like um, C-19 came in, that's it's going to come in, and, and no one knew what to do. No one knew what to expect. Everyone was, you know, it's going to be 10 times worse, 100 times worse when uh, um, they declare martial law, when there's food shortages, all right, when you see mass uprisings. I'm talking about uprisings of millions of people in the streets, okay? And, and, uh, coming up against their government, coming up against their local, their state officials, their, their national officials, okay? Everyone loves Biden right now, but when Biden really starts to lay down the hammer, okay, hey, all that love is going to be lost. All, all you Dem Democrats that, that, that um, you know, are out there crying and, and, and you know, um, you know, um, uh, for Biden and, you know, acting like you, acting like you got one up, hey, these devil's really about to show his hand. He's really about to show his horns. Okay, and like I said, like like I'm like the title of this um, lesson is this is a sign to come. So I'm gonna read a little bit of this, and I want to get into how um, what actually happened over there in Myanmar, um, if I'm pronouncing that right, um, what which led to the coup. Okay, and how it took place because it's it's similar, it's damn near identical of how things are going to take place here in America. All right, and actually the other parts of the world where they turn off the internet, they you know they 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 siege, um, you know they cut cut off commercial commercial flights, all right, and the military controls everything, all right? So let me read a little bit of this, and I'm going to jump to the other article. It says, at least 18 people have been killed, according to the UN, after security forces in Myanmar used lethal violence against anti-coup protesters in, most, in the most deadly crackdown since the military seized power at the start of February. Live bullets, stun, stun grenades, and tear gas were fired at demonstrators in several towns and cities as police, backed by troops, attempted to st attempted to stamp out countrywide rallies held in, de in defiance of the junta. 
At least 18 people believed to have been killed and 30 injured, according to UN Human Rights Office, which strongly condemned the escalating violence against peaceful protests. And, and it's not going to be peaceful protests here in, 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 the, in the States. It's not going to be peaceful protests in parts of Europe, Central and South America. All right, it's Central and South America and, and parts of the Caribbean islands are already protesting. Okay, Haiti, Puerto Rico, uh, uh, and, and they're just protesting their, their, their um, you know, local officials who, who they're finding out are corrupt, all right, or, or changes in different laws. They, they have, everyone has a different uh, protest that's specific to their, uh, um, their country, okay, but it's, it's all coming up against their, their puppet leaders who are set up by Esau Edom, the international bankers, okay, who, who control these companies because they're able to control their money and their resources, all right, um, let me see. Yeah, they just go into it. I, um, you know, what, what took place and what's been going on over the past month over there. And, and you know, um, you know, of course, uh, Esau wants to just restore democracy over there. But, you know, hey, the military has taken over. And this country was, um, you know, like I said, it just became a, a, a democracy over there. But before it was, um, I, I don't know if it was communist or, or what, but um, it wasn't, it, they didn't have a democracy over there. All right, um, let me see. I'll read a little bit more of this. It says, um, well, actually, I want to read this quote. Um, Social media footage showed protesters in the city lifting up, lifting bloody people to safety in one image published by uh, Mizuma, M Mizuma News. A protester raised his hand in three-figure statue as he was taken away on a stretcher, a gesture used by demonstrators to signal their opposition to the military. Myanmar is a is like a battlefield. The Buddhist majority country's first Catholic cardinal Charles Mongbo said on Twitter, "Hey, they got these these these, these Catholic churches everywhere, man. They, you know, these Esau man, they push their religion, Christianity, Catholicism everywhere. You you know, that's just a little side note, but you just see how how that the witchcraft of Esau's uh, Catholicism and." And Edomite, Edomite uh, Jesus is just is pushed worldwide. All right, he shared a photograph of a nun in Kachin State, northern of Myanmar, who kneeled before a line of police officers uh, pleading for restraint. And, and and they talk, man, it's it's both sides. They're trying to say like they're peaceful. Yeah, it may be some peaceful protest, but both sides want blood at this point. And like I said, this is just a sign to come here in America because this this place is already divided. Okay, let me grab this um, real quick, and I'm gonna jump to the other article. This is Matthew, excuse me, Mark, um, three and uh, let me see, um, twenty-four. And if a kingdom be div actually, I started twenty-three, and he shall, and he called upon them and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. If Satan rise up against himself and he and be divided, that kingdom cannot stand but hath an end. All right. In America, it's clearly divided. This this election, this past election in November, dragged all, all the way to uh, Biden's inauguration. It has completely divided this nation, completely divided this country. They're talking about Trump getting his own, uh, 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 making up a new party. All right, so the the the, the Democrats, Democrat, Democrats and Republicans are divided. Have been divided, but the Republican Party is also divided. Okay, so this place is divided on all levels, from the bottom low level Edomites to the tops to the top heads. All right, only ones that's on one accord is the international bankers because they control everything. All right, and this is part all part of their lip, wicked left hand agenda. Okay, but hey, Esau's hey, Esau has an end, um, and we're witnessing Esau's end. And this protest that's going over here in Myanmar. And in these other countries, is only the beginning of what's to come here. It's only a sign of what's to come here. And when it comes here to America, mainly, it's going to be magnified. It's going to be like, it's going to be like this shit right here on steroids. All right, it's it's, it's not going to even come close. All right, this you're going to see millions upon millions of people in the street protesting. Um, uh, uh, uh you know, um, um, starting, you know, starting fires and fights, and it's going to be gunfights. All right, you're going to hear you. Wherever you live, all right, whether you hear gunshots every night or not, all right, you, you live in a projects or the ghetto somewhere, if you live in a nice neighborhood, you're going to hear gunshots on a regular wherever you live, all right? You can live in the, 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 the you know, uh, um, you know, 
uh, uh, the ghetto in, in, in New York or Jersey or, 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 or um, you know, Mississippi or Alabama or, 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 or California, Compton or, or Washington somewhere, or you can live in a nice neighborhood uh, uh, in Beverly Hills or some shit, but you're still going to hear those gunshots because it's, it's, it's going to be war out here on these streets. All right. Cause this place is divided. All right. I want to get this. Um, it says, um, minor March protests explain. All right. Um, I'll start right here. Then I'm going to jump down. What led to the coup in Myanmar? Parliament was scheduled to hold its first session since the country's November 8th election, which in which the National League for Democracy, Myanmar's leading civilian party, won 83% of the body's available seats. The military refused to accept the results of the vote, which was widely seen as a referendum on the popularity of Ms. Aksan Tsukia. As head of the National League of Democracy, she she's had the de facto civilian leader since she, her election in 2015. All right, so it was a, obviously a discrepancy with the with the election, and the military refused to accept the results, and they took over. Okay, it says um, how the coup was carried out. All right, and this is important because you li listen li if you listen to these points, how they how they took control is and it's going to be similar to how it's going to be happening here in America. The military detained the leader of the National League for Democracy and civilian and other civilian officials, including Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi and President U Win uh, Myint. Cabinet, minist cabinet ministers, chief ministers in several regions, oppositions, op opposition po politicians, writers, and activists. The coup was effectively announced on military, announced on the military owned Mattaway TV station as a news presenter cited in 2008 Constitution, which allows the military to declare a national emergency. The state of emergency said will remain in place for one year. Of course, they have different rules here, but it's nothing for the people, all right? They already have these certain groups, all right, that that that, that are, are, you know, lining up to come against the government, okay? There's one, one point I wanted to hit in here where, where they just explained how it took how it took place and how they, how they took away... Um, you know, uh, uh, certain things. Let me see. Let me scroll up. I think this might be up here. I might have overlooked it. Um, all right, here it is. The military quickly seized control of the country's infrastructure, suspending most television broadcasts and canceling domestic and international flights. That's going to happen. Okay. All right, they already did that to a degree with what you know what was going on with this uh, uh this pandemic, okay. But they're gonna the government under under martial law the government seizes everything, okay. They're gonna seize your you know uh, uh they could seize your house, they could seize your food, all right. They could seize your car, all right. They're gonna shut down TV. They all all um, matter of communication and news is gonna come from them. It says telephone and internet access was suspended in major cities. You're not gonna be able to use your cell phone. The internet access, all right? Everyone uses the internet, you know, whether it be on a laptop or your phone, all right? That's going to be suspended. They're going to shut down the satellite so no one can communicate, all right? Any communication you'll have is going to be from ESOL, all right? From 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 PA speakers, you know, these loudspeakers where they're going to make their announcements, come down here to get chipped, all right? If you, uh, uh you know, come down, you know, uh, uh, you know, get in this bus to go to this camp pretty much, all right? The stock market and commercial banks were closed, and long lines were seen outside ATMs in some places. Okay, so that's just these are just a sign to come. But like I said, it's going to be magnified. It's like it's going to be like this shit on steroids when it comes here to America. All right, and and what do you? And a lot of you people are going to bug out because you've pretty much been warned. You've been warned by the prophets. But what are you, what are our people doing? Partying and bullshitting. All right, thinking that this is all a joke. Thinking that the the things that we speak of. Are, are, are not at this time or are, are not going to happen in this in this era when they're happening all right this is um the book of ezekiel 12 and i'll start at 25 uh excuse me uh 27 son of man behold they of the house of israel speaking of you talking about you so-called negroes latinos and native americans say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come and he prophesieth of the times that are far off that's that spirit that our people are in where they say these things these prophecies these signs will never happen in our time, all right? The mark of the beast will never happen in our time, all right? World War III will, won't happen in our time. That's that's hundreds and that's 100 years on the line. Hey, World War III has started, all right? We're living in these times, 
All right, therefore say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, they, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord power. All right, so these, these prophecies are speaking. All right, and once they begin to start speaking louder and louder, all right, that's when you Jakes out there, you Israelites are going to understand that this is the time that these, these are the times that the prophets spoke of. These are the these are what we've been telling you for so long is coming to coming to pass. All right, and, and a lot of our people are not going to have that covering of the Lord that day. All right, they're not going to know the name of the Lord. They're not they're not going to you know uh, 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 have refuge from from the from the wrath of Esau. All right, because this this is all a part of this devil's plan. All right, this devil is like. This devil really thinks he's the master chess player, but the Most High is the is the it controls all the boards on the uh, excuse me controls all the pieces on the board, okay? And, and he's playing chess with this devil Esau, okay? But this devil, he, you know, the Most High built this devil up to be proud to um to uh, uh boast himself and, and make everyone fear him and think that he's in ultimate control, all right? Because this devil wants all this shit to happen, you know, right? This devil wants people to die out there in the street. All right, they, they so they can come and restore order. All right, what is the uh, uh, problem? Um, how's it go? Problem solution. Um, what's the other one? Uh, I can't think of it. It may, Lord, will it come to me? All right, let me grab another scripture in Second uh, Ezra, Second uh, Ezra fifteen. Um, problem, reaction, solution. The Wadi Yabashi and Shai. They they create the problem. They wait for people to react. All right, and, and and they come with a solution. All right, this is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, and I'm starting at verse twelve. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. They they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting of hail and the fearful and the and with a fearful constellation. All right, that's talking going into a famine. All right, that's going into the plagues that are going to be hit. So all these things are going to be happening all at once. So you see the protest that's taking place over here. In the midst of the protest, there's going to be a famine. There's going to be more pestilence. It's going to be it's just going to be crazy. All right. Um, back to the verse. Uh, verse fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and the people and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hand. And I and, and that's damn. That's got to be specifically talking about America because, like I said, the 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 peep the, the the number of guns outnumber the people. All right, so you're gonna have people with multiple guns. There's people with multiple guns that's gonna be on one side. We're fighting the middle, fighting these fighting these troops, fighting the local police. Okay, uh, and it's gonna get bloody out here in the street. One people shall fight against another. That's also going into race riots. Okay, for there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and their course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right, they're gonna people are gonna take things matters into their own hand in these days all right they're not going to regard the curfews they're not going to regard the um the uh, uh, uh the laws and and, and and you know things that they pass they're not going to regard none of that all right a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able that's speaking of the martial law all right they're going to block off these cities block off these highways all right they're going to block the food from coming in eventually okay it's for because of the pride of the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. All right. So people are going to be uh, rubbishing through people's houses. All right. Kicking down your door, looking for food, looking for refuge, looking for ammunition, looking for, you know, guns and, and, and first aid. All right. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor and shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's going into the, um you know, like, like I said, the famine. All right. People are going to be looking for food. All right. Food is going to be scarce. It's going to be food. All right, but it's going to be scarce. You're going to have to search and find and look and pray to the Lord that he provides for you in that day if you're of, if you're of the elect. All right, this is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9. And I'm going to start at the top. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. All right, and you you that's taking place as we speak. All right, it's always some earthquake every day, every damn near every hour. There's an earthquake somewhere, but these earthquakes are going to be more intense. All right, you're going to have earthquakes in, in places that where ain't no fault line. So it's going to it's going to baffle these um uh what do you call them um geologists on how these earthquakes are are, are taking place, and, and it's not near even near a fault line. Okay, and of course there's uproars of the people. All right, it's going to be 
you know, uh, more more people coming up against their puppet governments that's set up by Esau. All right, those are these are the signs that that the scripture said that the, says in the first verse, when thou seest part of the signs pass, these are the signs, the prophecies. Okay. Uh, let me jump over to the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, nineteen, and I'm gonna start at verse two. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fall, fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. All right, it's going, the Lord's going to set these Edomites against these Edomites. All right, the Lord is doing it right now. They're divided. Okay. Like, people think that the Democrats and Republicans, they hate each other. They don't hate each other, all right? They, they're all in, in it to, to, to just deceive and to fool you dumb niggas out there, all right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to make you pick or choose a side when they're all on the same side. They, they, after their little debates and stuff, they, 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 they shake hands and go have drinks. Their kids go to the same schools and shit. They don't hate each other. Like, they, they, that's, a, that, that's a facade that they put on for, for the public, all right? But the Lord is putting that spirit... In these devils is beginning to hate each other. All right, you got these lower level Edomites that that hate these, um, that they hate these, uh, this, this hate these politicians and the you know, the um, you know, because hey, they they're basically two time losers in their kingdom. All right, they they're gonna they're not winning on this side, and they damn sure ain't gonna win in the kingdom because all these devils are going into slavery. They're going into bondage. Okay, but the Lord is stirring up that spirit to bring Egyptian against Egyptian. All right, and they're not just gonna be out there fist fighting. They're gonna be out there fighting with guns. All right, they're gonna have these uh these militia type groups that that are coming against their their, their local governments. Their I mean local, yeah, the local officials and uh, um, local police and you know um, their state officials. Hey hey, when it when it goes down, it ain't gonna be like no um, Capitol building storming and none of that shit. These 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 devils are gonna have everything planned out and, and calculated when when it happens. All right, and like I said, if you don't have that covering of the Lord, hey, you may get caught out there in the bullshit. All right, I've um, got a few more verses I want to hit. Um, this is the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 24, and I'm going to start at verse 5. Um, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All right, so hey, the the, the most high is setting everything, setting the stage perfectly. All right, he's setting this devil Esau up to 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 um you know to be you know uh, even more hateful in these last days. So you know he when he comes down when this devil comes down with their wrath. All right, it's gonna it's gonna be like you know it's they it really is their last <laughs> their last to come down on Jake man. Last time they're gonna come down on Jake and they're gonna come down hard. You're gonna see that this devil Esau really hates you. All right, that's what a lot of Jakes don't realize that these 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 Edomites they they hate they hate your guts, all right, and they're gonna hate you even more. They hate us even more because they know that we're gonna get the we're gonna get the elect. Really, they hate the elect because they know the elect is gonna get the victory at the end of the day. Okay, um, let me grab two more scriptures. This is uh, Revelations twelve and verse twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So hey, the, the wrath of this devil is coming. And, and like I said, the title of this lesson, the, uh, these are the signs to come, all right? It, it, this is nothing compared to what's going to happen in America. The, these are, you know, they're like, you know, they 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 not, these, these people over here, they really don't want no smoke, okay? But these Edomites here in America, they it's going to come down to it where they want all the smoke, all right? And a lot of them are going to get laid down, but it's going to be fighting. It's going to be death. It's going to be bloodshed on both sides, all right? And if you don't got the covering of the Lord, you're going to be caught up in that. It's going to be a lot of Israelites out there that that, that go out there and fight against Edomites, or whether they be uh, uh, for this government or opposed to it. They're going to be out there, and they're going to get caught up in the shit. And they're going to be left out there like, like dung in the street, like the scriptures say. And no one's going to come out there to, to, to bury them. They're just going to be laid out there. All right. You're going to see the aftermath. And it's, you know, <laughs> they're going to show it on the news. Jake out there, bloody and, and dead and limbs everywhere. That's the, that's, that's the truth. This is the truth. We have to bring out the truth. We have to paint this vivid picture 
for Jake to uh, understand the times that we're living in and, and the severity uh, uh, of getting this truth and, and understanding that, you know, hey, it's go time. This devil's not playing. Let me get one last scripture. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12 and verse, verse 1. In that time, and at that time shall Michael stand up, that great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as was such it's like it's such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. So the, the angel, the archangel Michael, Michael is going to have to stand up for the people, for the Israelites. All right. In that day, to protect us to because to, to, it's going to be a time of trouble. That's talking about Jacob's trouble. All right. Jacob's trouble is all of everything that I was speaking of, the the the, uh, the, the uprisings, the, the famine, the pestilence, all in one. Okay, and even more bullshit. All right, even more, even more death. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for Hashem, Harakapodash, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.